That's right, Victoria. We were switched at birth at the hospital. Adi! Remote control emergency. Will you please change the channel before I get severe brain rot? The true heir of the Vandenella fortune. Love no, that's the volume, Odie. Did you forget everything I taught you? It's the button on your left. Sir Leo oh, is one of Hollywood's hottest first stars a soap right opera. now. Now so a talk show. So gloomy. Well, no, wait. Sir Leo, that's Sir Leo. Has been under a great deal of stress lately. Ever since he broke up with Paul E, the paparazzi have been harassing him. Paul E is the Siamese supermodel turned actress who co-stars alongside Sir Leo in his latest movie, Cat on a Hot Bin Lid. The movie has gotten rave reviews, but it hasn't done so well in the box office. No, and that's been a huge disappointment for Sir Leo. He hoped his celebrity status would bring this art house film the success of his previous blockbuster. <laughs> Some people have real problems. My remote control doesn't work, and am I complaining? No. Turn it off, will you, Odie? <laughs> I don't think anybody saw us. No one except the entire neighborhood. You look like you just robbed a bank. What are you hiding under there, plutonium? An alien specimen? It's moving. Uh, John, please tell me that's a live lobster in there. Hello. Beginning to feel rather cramped, if you don't mind. An articulate live lobster? You cloned me. I have a copyright on that, you know. Garfield, Odie, this is Sir Leo. He's going to be staying with us for a little while. He's in need of a vacation. <laughs> Sir Leo? Here? Well, this isn't exactly the French Riviera. Liz is Sir Leo's vet. She thought our house would be a quiet place for him to get away from the paparazzi and recover from his nervous breakdown. That's right. You'll be safe here. The only danger is being bored to death. <laughs> and Odie's saliva. So what's with the nervous breakdown? I thought you movie stars had it pretty easy. Not quite. I was thrown into show business when I was just a kitten. I never lived the life of an ordinary cat. Well, come on then, I'll show you around. But don't expect any special celebrity treatment. Hungry? Famished. <laughs> if I may, what exactly are these? Uh, fish sticks? <laughs> hmm. Not sure my nutritionist would approve. Man, movie stars have it rough. I'll eat them if you don't. <laughs> hmm. Hey, not bad. They're here. Who's here? Them, the fans, the paparazzi. Well, it's a sea of people out there. How did they find you? <sighs> they always do. I guess it's back to the fast lane for me. Or maybe not. I could pretend to be you. I mean, I'm practically identical, right? <sighs> okay, okay. So I, uh, I got a head start on the fish sticks. But no one will notice a difference. Go get him, Tiger. I owe you one. Why can't they ever resist the need to... Sir Leo, spend an entire day signing autographs and posing hey, with Garfield, fans. Hey, hurry up, we're on TV! <laughs> Unlike his recent public appearances, Sir Leo was in top form. Our crew got the exclusive footage. Sir Leo! 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 Sir Leo!
brilliant. You make a better Sir Leo than I do. So? When do I get to ride in the limo? <laughs> I think I'll go to bed. Hmm. When you get home, I'll have Jean-Louis put you on that papaya diet again. I don't think I like Jean-Louis, whoever he is. Anyway, I hate to make you work during your vacation meal, but I couldn't pass up a TV commercial. Sounds fun. How much uh, work can that possibly be? Scene three, take five. And, and action! action. Caviar puts the cat in caviar. Meow. Cut. Yes, um, Sir Leo, that was good, but let's try that meow again. Scene three, take six. And action. Meow. Cut. Good. Uh, why don't we try it a little more suave <sighs> this time? Scene three, take seven. Meow. Scene three, take 25. Meow. Scene three, take 57. <sighs> Meow. Scene two, take 74. Well, I guess that's a wrap. To the movie theater, James. Step on it. We're late for the premiere. I'm warning you, there better be popcorn. <laughs> No, it's not me you want, it's him. Leo, wake up! Your fans, they're outside. They want you. No, they want you. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, I, I'm not cut out for this celebrity stuff. I want my life back. Hey, who wanted to ride in the limo? Who said celebrities had it easy? The fans, the paparazzi, they're your problems now. All right, then. They're gonna get a taste of the real me, or him, or me, or, uh, you know what I mean. My friend, you've just brought me a lot of free publicity. Woohoo! Yeah, we'll see who gets the last laugh. Meow. Predictable. Here's your paycheck, Squeak. Today, Sir Leo fans discovered a different side of their favorite celebrity. Unlike his popular Deverminator character, it turns out the star is a rodent enthusiast. The autograph session ended abruptly when a swarm of mice attacked fans and reporters, forcing them to flee. Could this be the end of Sir Leo's career? Me? A rodent lover? 
I can never show my face in Hollywood again. You mean my face? You stole my life, remember? Well, you can have it back. Anything. Just help me get out of this mess. So you're telling us that wasn't the real Sir Leo? The whole thing was a hoax? A publicity stunt? Yes, that's right. Sir Leo desperately needed a vacation, so uh, we hired a lookalike to impersonate him for a few days. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sir Leo's belching, pie-throwing lookalike. <laughs> Who needs fame when you can be the star of your own house? Because every cat deserves luxury. Caviar puts the cat in caviar. Meow. Well, I do all the work and he gets all the glory. And the paycheck. Life is so unfair. Garfield, dinner! But I'm not complaining. <laughs>